Hi everybody, it's Miss Judy, and I have another card that I worked have been working on today. Um, some of the uh, young people in our church always go to a mission trip in the summer to Costa Rica, and I try to help out as much as I can uh, with uh, some of the ones that need some extra money to pay for the trip. So what I'm going to do this year is. Um, give some of my cards that I'm making to uh, some of the, the, the youth group so that the kids can sell the cards at Christmas time and um, help uh, earn a little money to um, pay for their trip and uh, get the, the experience of having a mission trip uh, as a young person. I think that has so much to do with how our young people grow up. Um, they can, if they can serve uh, others in some way, then they really realize what life is all about and what um, the good things are that we have and sharing a portion of ourselves with someone else. So um, I'm in the process of trying to make as many Christmas cards as I can in the next uh, week or two to go ahead and get to the kids so they can give the uh, have the opportunity of selling these to friends and congregations and family. So, here's one I worked on today and I wanted to share it with you. It's a really, really quick, easy card, but I think it turned out really pretty. I used the Art Philosophy uh, Cricut cartridge um, from close to my heart, and I used an image on page um, 31. It's the shift key and it get, gets you a tree. Uh, it's just the uh, outline of the tree. And then I stamped the tree with cranberry ink and inked around the edges uh, after I cut it out. The cutout is it, when you buy Art Philosophy Bundle, you get three sets of stamps and you get some dimensionals. And this um, tree is one of the, on one of the stamps that you can cut out the exact shape. This is a, a nice, um, pretty stamp set with Christmas and a leaf and star and a label and then it has some have a day filled with and then you can put joy or fun or hope or love uh, and some other sentiments on it. And it's a really nice um, stamp set. So that's what I did to make the tree. Then I used um, another close to my heart cartridge uh, a stamp set, excuse me, um, that is from the Pear and Partridge Scrapbooking Workshop. And you can only get this set when you buy the Pear and Partridge Scrapbooking Workshop set, kit, whatever. Uh, and I use this border. I, I haven't used borders very much, but I decided I wanted to try this and, it, and I inked the border on some white in the cranberry ink and oh it turned out so pretty. Um, I love the little filigree um, effect in that and I like the swirls because I think the swirls kind of go along with the tree. Well, And I had some of this lace, crocheted looking lace, and I want to incorporate, incorporate using that with the border and then put the tree and a sentiment on the front. So I'm going to go ahead and put that together and I think what I'll do is run some um, ATG on half of my strip of uh, border and then I'm going, I want the little um, holy, <laughs> holy side uh, to show. That's appropriate for a church group, isn't it? I want my little holy group side of the lace to show. So I'll lay that on the border. And then I'll take my ATG gun and go ahead and go down both strips and then put that on the base. And this is some card stash I had several years. It's just a pretty little dots on here and I inked around in the cranberry ink so I'm going to go ahead and put this on the outside of the card oops I need nope 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 slow down girl do it this way silly goose 
Okay. Um, so, it'll go right there. And that way, just the little holes of the lace will show, and it's not quite so overpowering, but it just adds, overpowering, but it just adds a nice little touch. And then I'll seal the, the back with some scotch tape. And then I have a pretty little border, edged border. Then I'm going to put my tree on, but before I do that, I want to use a sentiment, and I'm using um, sentiment from um, Cards TV um, Joy Stamp Group. I love Mary's stamps. Um, they stamp so nicely, and I love the little designs that she does. Um, they're just great. So what I'm going to do on the outside is just stamp Joy down at the bottom. And right there. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and put my tree on. And I'm still using my big roll, y'all. It's the uh, best deal I have had in a long time. So I'm going to go ahead and put one layer of foam tape on the back of my, um, I love this stuff because you can cut it to whatever size you want to use and trim it down and it's just a really good buy. 36 yards and it was about $20 and it certainly has lasted me a long time. So I'm going to go ahead and get that on the front of the card. And, of course, I have to decorate it. I ha cannot stand just plain. I have to have a little um, fancy toodly stuff in here. So I'm going to put that right here on the front. And then I'm going to get my stickles and have a little stickle fun. And I'm going to go ahead and Stickle the stars that are in the words, and then stickle randomly on the tree. I don't think I'll do every um, dot, but just randomly do some dots. Um, and I'm not sure if I want to do the... Um, little filigree at the bottom. I was thinking about doing that. Um, if I can get a light coating. Ooh, that one got big. Um, I don't know. I might go ahead and do some more. But anyway, I, I think the, uh, the some larger dots of the stickle and then some of the smaller ones will, in be between will give it a little different look and um, give it a little sparkle on the front but see how I'm doing um, some of the stickle element real heavy and then some of it real light uh, and it just gives it a little different effect and there let's see I'm almost through I'm almost through almost through okay I think I got all of them there's one more now I'm not sure. I'm going to try this because I like the glitter. I like that. So I'm just going to outline very lightly, as lightly as I can, around this little filigree on the bottom. Maybe y'all think I should or maybe I shouldn't, but I think it's okay. All right. So I have the outside done, quick and easy. And for the inside of the card, I'm going to, um, well, I did it backwards again. <laughs> I was supposed to put the outside of the card, or the layer, on this. But, I'm going to go ahead and put this on the front. 
And take my ATG gun and cheat again. And go in about a half an inch. Mm, sometimes I just make myself so crazy because of doing things uh, the wrong way. But it's easily fixed, so be sure I've got this. This is the top. I can put that on backwards. I'm left-handed, so I do a lot of stuff backwards, y'all. So, here we go. Got that down. Now, for the inside of the card, I'm going to use another sentiment from uh, Cards TV stamp set, Christmas Joy. And uh, it happens to say, may the beauty of the season bring you joy. So it goes along with the outside joy. And I'll use my cranberry ink. And I will just turn that and stamp the inside there. Yeah. Pretty font on this. Very pretty font. And the cranberry shows up so pretty on the on the white. So, there's my card for today, or for now. Uh, very quick, very easy, using um, two sets of stamps from Close to My Heart, and using a cut from the Art Philosophy cartridge, and using two stamps from Cards TV, and there it is. We have it. So, thank you so much for watching. A uh, quick commercial. Uh, if you um, order from me, anytime in November and all of you who have ordered in October everybody will be in a drawing and the first of December I will draw for the items on this page which are the organizing tools they're great I have them all and they're stuffed I love them uh, and I'm going to um, surprise a customer uh, with this set for a little gift from me to you. And I'll be drawing the first day of December. So it might be a good time to think about, you know, sometimes I like to get a from me to me Christmas. Mm -hmm. Art philosophy or artiste cartridges are wonderful. Um, and there are so many other products that are in our, our collection from close to my heart. Easy peasy to order. Um, www.judyashmore.ctmh.com uh, You log in, put your name, create a password, and you can shop 24-7 in the online shop. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful day. I love talking to all of you, and I love talking to myself. Ta-ta!